r slash escritted. What do you envy most about the opposite gender? The sheer number of wardrobe choices. The ability to piss and stand. Have you seen what a women's toilet looks like at a bar? You would never touch us again lol. Their ability to have kids without destroy their body and missing several months in career. Not having to choose between periods or birth controls that change us so much, even our sense of smell changes. I have penis envy. I love everything about a penis. If I had one, I'd probably never stop playing with it. Being able to play a more passive role in dating and not having to make the first approach. I have next to no dating experience since I have social anxiety and find it really hard to initiate conversations with people in general, let alone someone I'm attracted to. As a result, I'm quite lonely. Trying to work on it though. Bring able to talk about mental health or abuse without either being laughed at or not being taken seriously. I know it's not the case with everyone. I talk to my girlfriend about it. But I can't with other people in my life. I don't want to in fear of being called weak. Main 1, Ability to have biological kids later in life. Medicine has improved and all, but having to plan a kid based on a biological clock rather than when it makes the most sense in my life journey sucks. Secondary, pee standing up and without unclothing. That's unique to my outdoor pursuits. I know there are female urination devices but it's extra weight plus weight of cleaning supplies slash water. Having to pee when doing winter backpacking or when you are in a harness with multiple clothing layers is erg. I end up not hydrating enough to avoid it, which isn't good at all. This will sound twisted but, when they are the targets of domestic abuse, or sexual violence, people react with anger on their behalf for the most part. When it happened to me, people either mocked me, didn't believe it happened, or decided I deserved it somehow. I was 10. What 10 year old boy, who still thinks girls are gross, is going to want to have sexual interactions with a teacher older than their mom? I never laid a hand on my ex, but she accused me of hitting her, as revenge for breaking things off after she cheated, and I had to sit in jail until I could see a judge. I lost my job, my apartment, and a ton of friends and family who either sided with her by default, or knew I didn't do it, but didn't want to be pulled into the drama and associated with the domestic abuser. And when she admitted, in court, to the judge, she only accused me out of spite, the judge just dropped the charges against me, didn't order them cleared from my record, and didn't charge her with any crimes. If I had been born with a vagina instead of a penis, my teacher would have rotted in prison, and my ex would be in prison for filing a false police report, if not in prison for actual abuse, assuming she would be a he in the scenario. Dresses look like fun. Not having to deal with issues such as periods. Ability to cry without being judged. I'm jealous that men don't have periods loudly crying face you are so lucky it is so painful not for all women though. Peeing standing up, therefore not having to do the hover in public restrooms. The ability to get a proper diagnosis. Most of the criteria for mental health problems and developmental disorders are heavily based on how, most, males show symptoms. I was denied autism and depression diagnosis by doctors because I did too well even after expressing some really fucked up thought I've been having. I've been saving up money for private health care for months so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Stuff like general health too. My period that caused me to pass out and wake up in a pool of my own vomit and blood, I injured my head during the fall, was apparently not concerning enough and I was just being overdramatic because the gynecologist I went to was also on her period and she was coping just fine. Being assertive or proud doesn't immediately make people, often of both sexes, liken you to a hormonal dog. Having better access to support, less of a stigma around asking for help from others. That they don't have periods and can't become pregnant after sex. I know I know, some people will say it's blessing and I should be proud that my body can make another human but no, that's not how I see it and don't get me wrong, yeah, it really is cool if I think about it but I don't want that. They don't have to wear shirts. Walking alone and not fearing for your life. I love walking and running and love doing it when it's peaceful which is usually nights or early morning and both are equally awful options for safety. Exemption from the draft, even though it's not active here and I age out of it this year anyway. Other than that I don't really know, based on what my sister and my female friends tell me it sounds like women have to put up with a lot of bullshit that I don't as a man. Men don't have periods. 
Not having a period every three weeks for the majority of their life. Not having to drop through to take a leak. Especially in public restrooms slash outdoors. Seems a, much more convenient, b, more sanitary, and c, much less cold. I absolutely hate periods so much they made me absolutely miserable. There's nothing fun about it. I don't understand people who call it a gift of womanhood or whatever it's stupid. Not to mention people who don't identify as women have periods too which makes that statement even worse. Never having to be told to smile more at their professional workplace. Going hiking or running alone without having to scan for creeps. Do not be underestimated every time they share their opinion. The ability to take your own kid to the playground without being stared at, condescending to, or ostracized. It's either, look at Mr. Mom, babysitting today, or stared at like I'm a creeper, and having people keep an eye on me the entire time I'm there. I'd love to leave the house without feeling like I have to wear makeup to appear put together. I'd save so much money slash time slash sleep. Going through the world and not being looked at with suspicion by default by everyone else, even those of your own gender. Your ability to burn fat fast. Men can do a bit extra and it seems to peel off. Meanwhile, I have to train for a marathon. A penis, they seem fun to play with. Being ready in 15 minutes squinting face with tongue. Women's bodies can be so much more beautiful than men's bodies. Sure it takes work to look good, but that's universal across the genders. All things being equal, women are so beautiful. Probably the fits they can wear, like bro I couldn't pull off wearing a suit. Being considered hot after 50. I have a lot of female friends, and they are incredibly resilient, both physically and emotionally. I really admire that. Nothing really. I'm envious of birds that can fly, starfish can regrow their limbs, a jellyfish can live basically forever by simply choosing to be young again. I'm envious of whales, jumping out of the ocean making a big splash must be amazing. I'm envious other creatures revel in their existence and ours is so blinkered. For men, the world is their toilet. I wanna piss spontaneously. <laughs>